apologize to him and was No, you tell me what I did to him. Tell me what I did to him. Tell me what you, you, on your opinion. Tell me what, on your opinion. From what I think all of the people that were there, that they observed was, um, you were desperate to get his attention and you went live and you acted as if you were going to hurt yourself. No. Okay. No. Let's get that straight with him. Let's, no, let's get that straight. By then I was hysterical. Let's get that straight. And I was the one saying, don't, but by then I was too hysterical. Anyone who was in the chat could read. My two beagles said, call Andrew. I was in the chat trying to, I was trying to tell them, don't call Andrew. See, people would get this story straight. I did not go live to get Andrew's attention. My two beagles is the one that said, get Andrew. And I said, he won't come on my panel anymore. Don't call him. Then who were you speaking to when you were saying, is this what you want? Who were you speaking to? My daughter. Does your daughter watch YouTube? Yeah. Oh. See, this is what pissed me off about all the people who then put my daughter on fixes. Is nobody, and I told Andrew this yesterday, is Andrew had the ability to vet my daughter. Andrew has my family's phone numbers. He had the ability to vet my daughter to find out what an estranged family is. Those pills went in my mouth because of her. Andrew had the ability to vet my child before she ever hit fixes. So he would have known what an estranged family is. He would have known what an estranged child will say. All the horrific things they will say. But Andrew did not vet. Andrew let people do their own stuff when Andrew could have vetted the whole thing. None of that, when I said, is this what you want? None of that was to them. And I had told my two beagles, don't call him. Don't call him. But I was getting so hysterical because I was so upset and things were going so crazy. And the things she had just said to me. The things she had well, just... Well, I hope that you can... Um... And, th- and this is for me. I-, I really hope that you can heal and I'm work fine. on your relationship with your children, your, and that's, you know, that's your daughter. Not a, that has nothing to do with it. That has nothing to do with it here and there or nothing. The thing of the fact of the matter is, and one of the facts of the matter is, when I got back from that last hospital, I was angry and I didn't kiss his dad. Okay, one of the problems is the night the cops were called, Shelly was involved, then Abs was involved, then Fixa, because I couldn't get into Fixa's stream because I'd never done it before. Then I got on the phone with Harry. Harry talked to me for a while because Harry knew the cops were coming. I talked to the cops. Then the very last minute as I was come hanging up the phone, then I heard Andrew say, do what the cops tell you. And I hung up the phone. At that point is the only time I heard Andrew's voice. I come back and I'm hearing Andrew's getting all the praise. And I'm like, what the hell for? He was not on that phone but a hot second. If anybody should be getting the praise, it should have been Harry. Harry was the one who stayed on the phone, kept me calm, asked me how my day was. If anybody should have been the praise, it should have been Shelly. She was the one who knew I was having a bad night and went to get what she thought was help. She should not have been him. He so are did you a- angry because people were uh, 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 commending him for help, trying to help you? I'm not understanding. Because I don't think that's what happened. I don't think people were commending him. 
I think there was it was a team effort, I believe, that there were some people that were really trying to help you. I'm not angry about nothing. It just needs to yeah. stop and people need to shut up about it. But he comes yeah. in my he comes in my chat every day. I know, but Cindy, you know that this is YouTube. People are going to troll you, and that's just what people do. They're assholes, and they're going to use anything and everything they can. If they know it bothers you, they're going to use it against you. Is that what you're that's here what to do. troll me? No. No. I'm just trying to, to point out that that's what you're, you're asking for something that's just never going to happen. I mean... I, mean, I I get trolled all the time in my own chat. I don't give a shit. It, I mean, it's it's nothing to me anymore. I just don't let it bother me. I I just I think it, for you it'd just be better just to ignore it if you can try. I mean, you like you said you've apologized. You feel that you have apologized. You've made amends. You you're moving forward. You're trying to be a better person. You're. Um, but I still have I still have all these people who come and want to throw it in my face and talk about it. But you can't do anything about that. All you can do is control what you do, right? You can't control what other people do. I suppose. I mean, that's what trolling is. They're trying to incite some sort of reaction from you, and you're giving them that. That's true. Yeah, and then you're biting people that aren't that aren't being hateful or mean to you. Like I've never said anything mean to you at all. And I, I would be honest. There are times when I feel like you go out of your way to be mean and and bring me up in conversations where I'm not even being discussed. And I thought maybe you had some sort of an agenda to like just like yeah, I was thinking to myself wow does Cindy harbor some ill will towards me or something because I don't know what's going on um yeah but I mean if there is like you have my number you know how to reach me so whenever you call me I'll be yeah <laughs> whenever you <laughs> um <laughs> But I've never had any, any, any I'll be honest, though, there, uh, I was under this impression that you had, like, some uh, bad feelings towards me for some reason, and I don't know why. And I just kind of, it, I was like, well, I guess it is what it is, you know, and... Some, some beef. Yeah, and I, I was unaware of it, because I had no clue, yeah. like, what's going on. Uh, what's but, beef? you know, yeah. Well, you know what? I give you credit, Golden, for coming up and asking her yourself instead of being like a lot of these fucking losers in the chat that, you know, are too scared to come up and take a link. Yeah, it bothered me. I'll be honest. It bothered me. I had been in Discord just talking about it. I just brought it up a, a couple of times and been like, I don't know what I did to Cindy, but I found like I just my name comes up when I'm not even being discussed at times and I'm like wait what why is why 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 is she bringing me in this shit I'm not even part of this conversation <laughs> and uh but yeah I was like well maybe there's something going on and I'm just not aware of it you know but I let it go I did I let it go and then it happened again when you came to uh, let's not let's keep this straight you seem to show up in a lot of conversations that want to um, discuss my bad behavior. Everybody was in your chat, though. Just because I'm there, I don't understand what you mean. I show not, up during not, conversations. Not just that night, other night. So what was what was my comment that that prompted you to not speak? just like you blocked yeah. me? I remember you blocked um, me just for having an opinion, and again, I was never accusatory towards you. Not just or that me. night. Other night, you seem to jump on the bandwagon when it's time to discuss my behavior last fall. No, I'm not a bandwagoner. I don't roll like that. That's never been my thing. I don't have a problem having my own opinion, even if it's not the popular opinion. 
I give a fuck about the popular opinion. I base my opinions on my observations, not the observations and opinions of others. And I've known you for a very long time, Cindy. And yes. You had said something on your panel that actually kind of hurt me. I'm not, it, it, I, and I was like, wow, you basically said, Golden, just remember, we talk, and I know a lot about you. As if to imply that you have shit on me or something. And you, in fact, I think you said that, that you have a, a lot on me or whatever. And I put in the chat, if you think you've got something on me, put it out there. Because I, I, I'll tell you, just like I've told everybody, I bared my shit a long fucking time ago. And I hold no shame. I've made my mistakes just like everybody else has. And I own every fucking one of them. Well, then you would be good at Andrew's friend because you own your mistakes. And Andrew says, I don't own my mistakes. So you would be a good Andrew friend. Because <laughs> I'm not a good oh, Andrew Andrew's friend because I friend. don't own my mistakes. I don't know if you own your mistakes or not. I, I, I accepted your apology whether you um, owed me one or not. And I'm like, I'm not, I didn't feel the need to ostracize you or any of that when you decided to come back. I didn't feel the need to do that. Other people may have, but I can't control what, what other people do. Let me tell you know. what this boils down to. Mm -hmm. And I may have 29 people walk away, or I may have 29 people stay. This is November of 2022. All of my problems started in August of 2021. Mm -hmm. Monday, we just found out a lot of information, a lot of information that would have contributed to last fall. The reason behind it, I'm not telling you. It's not your business. But we did find out a lot of problems. But that was a year and a half ago. You either like me or you don't. I am not going to keep walking back there. I'm just not going to do it. My physical health cannot do it. Oh, well, you should talk about her health again. Big deal. Um, my, I just am not doing it. There's a lot of stuff that can stress and all that stuff can rely on your body in different ways. And I'm not walking back there. That is why I have told Andrew, either get over it or stay out of my room. If you cannot come in my room without staying every two minutes, you're not taking responsibility, you're not doing this, you're not doing that, without giving an example, then stay stay out. If you can come in my room, have normal conversation, have a good time, we can laugh, we can make fun of game over two, we can do stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um and all that. Um yeah. that to me is a normal a normal situation. But other than that, I'm not walking back. I'm not walking back. I have no reason to walk back. I only have a reason to move forward. And I hope every person that can hear me, only themselves has a reason to move forward. I don't want to see anybody walk backwards. It's not healthy for you to walk backwards. Now, actually, yeah. this week on Monday, we actually found a good reason why I was having medical issues. I've been having other medical issues for the last year and a half, between two years. This mm -hmm. past Monday, I went to doctor after doctor after doctor after doctor. After hospital after hospital, I was in this hospital less than 20 hours. And the doctor walked in and said, this is your problem. 
If this would have been fixed a year and a half ago, he said you would have never been inside one institution. Well, that's, took that's a good thing, 20, though, right? It took him 20 hours to figure it out. Oh. So I'm not quite as cracked up as some people think. So, but I tell everybody, don't keep looking back. Move forward. Look forward. Yeah. Your best time is right over the hill. Right over the hill. Mm -hmm. Don't look backwards. There's no reason yeah. to look backwards. That's why I tell Andrew, if Andrew wants to keep looking backwards, but even though Andrew is treating me like shit, I'm having some very nice people telling me, Andrew's really bullying you. I have people now saying Andrew's bullying me. That's what people are starting to feel like, is Andrew bullying me. Um, Andrew, as y'all say, Andrew was in the settlement the other night, and Brett told Andrew, leave Cindy alone while you're in here. Because he's getting to the point, Andrew's getting known as Andrew's bullying me. Don't look back. Look forward. Figure it out. Mm -hmm. I, yeah. I mean, it's all you can do, right? You can't control what other people do. Or you can only control how you react to them and um like i know more i know as well as anybody that a person can be poked and prodded so much before you eventually tell them to fuck off <laughs> right i mean and they can't go crying later talking about oh she was mean to me and she's yelling at me yeah well i put up for, with you know months of your bullshit now I'm telling you to fuck off go away so I get it it's the YouTube virus no it's not the YouTube so, virus so yeah the YouTube virus but I'm gonna I'm just, I'm just wanna say this and I um I don't uh, I don't wanna fight with I I don't really like arguing with anybody are you guys um, all good are you guys like making up well, I don't think there was ever anything wrong. I just well, was kind of confused as to why I was being yelled at and blocked. <laughs> I was just, but now, I mean, I, there was obviously a misunderstanding. So uh, she was obviously reading my text in chat and misunderstanding what I was, or misinterpreting what I was saying, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to leave it at that. And, um, happens. and, and that's it, you know, look, uh, if you have ever an issue with me and you think that you may have heard me wrong, whatever, uh, just come to me and, and say, hey, Golden, what did you mean by that? Like, you know, it's not that big of a deal. And I'll explain what I was trying to convey. And uh, most li more than likely, though, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be hateful. I'm just, you know, have an opinion like everybody else does. <laughs> and uh, and uh, that's it. I mean, that's the, you know, the it of it. And I think for the, for the most part, if I have a problem with somebody, I, it's pretty evident. You'll know when I have a problem with someone. I think people are pretty, you know, it's pretty obvious. I, and for me, it is. I mean, other people may not be. So I, I can say it's easy for me to say it's easy to be obvious. But again, um, Cindy, all you have to do is just ask me. And I'll explain it to you if you have, you know, I don't, I rather, I'd rather you do that than, um, and vice versa. If I feel that you're being a little bitchy and something that you said, I'd be like, um, can you please, uh, maybe reiterate that for me? <laughs> that, just to avoid anything, uh, like the last few weeks where it's just confusing and I don't know if, whether I'm welcome here or not, you know, so Queen and group I, and I start feeling some type of way. Yeah. Group hug. Group so, hug. Yeah. Group hug. So, group yeah. hug. Love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That feels good. Oh, 